Breaking news, comrades. The Tennessee drag ban, the Adult Entertainment Act, or AEA, has been officially overturned by a federal U.S. judge. In a late Friday night ruling, Judge Thomas L. Parker wrote, and I quote, The Tennessee General Assembly can certainly use its mandate to pass laws that their communities demand, but that mandate as to speech is limited by the First Amendment to the United States Constitution, which commands that laws infringing on the freedom of speech must be narrow and well-defined. The AEA is neither. The law would have gone into effect on July 1st, and it is currently unclear, but rather likely, that the Tennessee Attorney General will appeal the case to a higher court. So, make no mistake, this is not over. It is, if it is successfully appealed or makes its way to the Supreme Court of the United States, this could still be a major blow to trans rights and to the LGBT community in particular. The bill would have been would have banned uh, adult cabaret performances, which uh, would have been uh, defined as including exotic dancers, strippers, which that part, you know, is understandable. But the part that got a lot of people and is the biggest source of this controversy was the last included piece to that: male and female impersonators. Now, we all know what that means. And essentially, it, the Tennessee General Assembly would have um, essentially banned these performances in public spaces or in the presence of children. Or essentially in, the, in public spaces where children could be present. Which is literally anywhere, at any time. A kid and their mother could be walking down the street, and somebody who happens to be noticeably trans could be prosecuted for it. So essentially, it makes wearing drag, or performing in drag, or simply being trans could be considered illegal under that law, with a fine up to $2,500 and or up to a year in jail. So essentially criminalizing drag and being trans, which by the way are two separate things. You know, there are trans people who are drag performers, but that's beside the point. But, at least for now, not only has this bill been halted, it has been completely stopped dead in its tracks. But again, make no mistake, this bill is not dead in the water yet. If, and likely when, the Tennessee Attorney General appeals this to the higher courts, it could easily be overturned. And God us forbid, it goes all the way to the Supreme Court of the United States, which thanks to Donald Trump, is now a 6-3 conservative majority. And I honestly don't have to tell you that I have the utmost lack of faith in them to defend trans rights. I'm Red Pagan Nicole, and this has been a Red Pagan Corner breaking news update. Until next time. Super, 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 super.